This video series covers a trip by caravan that started in Brisbane and went via Rockhampton to Birdsville, the Red Centre, Gawler Ranges and Flinders Ranges and back to our home in Brisbane. I started to make these videos to record the journey soon after the trip, but for some reason didn't finish the task. I have now done so. 17 short videos comprise the set. The series is titled, West, Center and Flinders. Here is the next part. Heading west from Mount Isa, we took a break at the rest area memorial to the building if the original Barclay Highway, during World War II. A couple who parked and dined with us at Middleton, were on their way, as volunteers, to the Drovers Museum at Camerweald. They invited us to call in, so we did. Preparations for their annual event were underway. We were given a conducted tour. The museum was certainly worth the stop. Crossing the Northern Territory border, we stopped for the night at the rest area at Avon Down Station. This rest stop offers good off-road parking and a long drop toilet. There is a police station there as well. The gentle undulations of the Barclay Tableland were a pleasant shade of green, although some of it was hidden by taller brown growth possibly the tops of Mitchell grass. Green grass means rain. At the Barclay Homestead Roadhouse, the rain was heavy leaving our caravan surrounded by large pools of water. Rather than wading through mud as we packed up, we decided to stay a second night. The extra night gave us time for a rest and to explore this isolated resort. ways we turned north for a few hundred metres to visit the memorial to the Reverend John Flynn of Australian Flying Doctor Service fame. We then turned south, making a lunch stop just south of Tennant Creek. left us a relatively short drive for a planned stop for the night at the Devil's Marbles. We have spent a night here previously, sheltered behind this unique rock formation. The stop and the marbles are a real attraction. The afternoon sun enhances the natural color in the marbles. Just imagine the pressure needed to create this crack in the rock.
At Barrow Creek, we looked at the historic telegraph station. It is interesting, but not as informative as the old station near Tennant Creek. When governments of a certain political persuasion are in power in the Northern Territory, there is often a stretch of highway with no speed restrictions. Diving instructions are posted for the information of adventurous drivers. There are monuments to people of note on this piece of highway. They include Ian Dahlenberg, who created a tea tree plantation and an irrigated table grape vineyard, and explorer John McDowell Stewart, who has a rest area and information booth named for him. The Tropic of Capricorn crosses the highway to the north of Alice Springs. We crossed it for the fourth time in this trip. Did you know that the highest point on the Stewart Highway is just north of Alice Springs? A marker identifies the spot, 730 meters above sea level. So if you think it is uphill getting to the red center, then you are right. 